my name is Laura, this is my channel Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video which is going to be my winter recommendations video. So this video will be divided up by genre. I've got three different genres that I will be giving winter recommendations. Now to me, the books that I tend to gravitate in winter towards are fantasy. If there are fantasy that are very winter focused, I will always go for those first. Otherwise, just any thick, like rich, good fantasy always feels good in the winter. I also love to read historical fiction in the winter. Really, I would love to read it all year round, but a lot of historical fiction is like World War II and a lot of that is really cold because Europe can get really cold. So I always tend to gravitate towards it in the winter time as well as certain thrillers. So this past year, I really realized how much I do enjoy thrillers, but more specifically, I've been figuring out what kind of thrillers I like, especially things like quarantine or like trapped thrillers where you like can't escape and I think those are really what I enjoy to read in the winter time because I feel like not trapped in my own home but like I don't want to go outside the roads are icy it's dangerous it's a lot of snow and it's flipping cold so I'm just not interested in leaving so I like the idea of the characters not being able to leave and that's the thrilling aspect so let's start with the thriller that I have. Because the thriller I'm going to recommend fits all of this and it's specifically winter themed. That is One by One by Ruth Ware. I read this last December and it was perfect for the season. So One by One follows a company retreat up in a ski resort and I believe they're in the Alps. And there is one day an avalanche and so everybody gets trapped inside the ski resort and they start to be killed one by one by accident, by murder. It's not clear at first, but you're following the point of view from a very interesting, very shy, kind of socially awkward main character as these events unfold. The drama, the mystery, the thrill. This is a perfect one to pick up in winter, so if you haven't read this and you love thrillers, this will get you way into the cozy vibes. As I said, I do like to read a lot of fantasy in the winter time, so I've got two fantasies here. Both of them are the start of series, but they're nothing too long and time consuming. So the first one is actually uh, the first book in a duology, so it's just two books for you to get comfortable with with a cozy blanket and a warm drink. And that is The Crown's Game, and this is by Evelyn Skye. This is a fantasy that is based in, like, Russia. You have the Tsar, and the Tsar generally has some sort of magical advisor. But when that advisor passed, he needs to then find the new one. There are two candidates, two people who have grown up training in magic in order to be the right hand of the Tsar. And so the conclusion that the Tsar comes up with is a magical competition. And that's what this is. So I loved this book. If you liked The Night Circus, or if you even kind of like The Night Circus, read this because it's a very similar idea, but I think this does it better. And because it's in a cold Russian setting, it is perfect to read in any winter setting that you may live in. So if you're up for a little magical competition and a lot of snowfall, you should pick this one up. Moving on to the second and last fantasy recommendation I have. This is the first book in a trilogy, I believe, um, and it is Kill the Queen by Jennifer Estep. So the idea behind this one is that we are following a main character who's like 13th in line for the throne. Like there's no way she's getting that throne until she does end up becoming the next in line when her entire family is slaughtered. Now the reason that this is a winter book in my opinion for me is that the queens are kind of based on seasons. There's like summer queens and there are winter queens and winter queens follow like that icy cold sharpness and so those vibes are the vibes I was like ooh, this this is what it is. This is 
that's the winter fantasy aspect that I'm looking for. So, if you're in for a little more of a medieval fantasy, this is the route that I think you should go. The final category, as I mentioned earlier, will be historical fiction. I have two historical fiction that I want to recommend. The first one is, again, in a Russian setting. It is called The Winter Palace. This is by Ava Stachniak, and this is a Catherine the Great novel, but you're not following Catherine the Great as like the character's point of view that you are reading from. You're actually reading from Barbara or Barbara's point of view. She is like a maid to uh, Catherine the Great. Um, she is Polish. So in Russian, you would say Barbara, in Polish, you would say Barbara, which is why there's like a slight difference, but it literally takes place at the Winter Palace. Years go by, but you only ever get snippets when they're at the Winter Palace, so the weather is always cold, and it's, it's political intrigue all the way up and the drama and everything, so this is one to cozy up to a fire to. The last book I have to recommend for you in this short little recommendations video is another historical fiction. It is a World War II historical fiction, but I read it last winter and it it was perfect to read in the winter. I felt cold. I was cold. It went together well. That is The Prisoner's Wife and this is by Maggie Brooks. This follows a Czech farm girl who ends up having these British soldiers come and like they are prisoners of war and they have to come help her and her mom on their farm and she ends up meeting with one of them and they don't speak the language but they fall in love so they decide to run away together so this book is them running away actually get captured and put in a POW camp but in order to protect her they dress her up as a boy so even though they are husband and wife she is dressed up as a man so that they can stay together in the camp and they don't have to be separated and to protect her from all the terrible things that can happen for a woman in a POW camp when really everything that happens in a POW camp is atrocious. Just be aware of some possible triggers there. It's not too heavy on the triggers, but it is historical fiction during war, so just keep that in mind. But this was a fantastic read. So that's it for this short recommendations video. I wanted to keep it short and sweet, and I am so excited for this winter season. Normally I am not a winter person. I'm not someone who thrives in cold weather. Even though I live in Minnesota and Michigan, which is really cold, lots of snow, lots of ice. But for some reason I am actually really excited. And there's been snow on the ground for weeks at this point. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just really intrigued with this. I cannot wait for it. And I and I hope you all have a good winter as well. If you have any recommendations for me, comment them down below. I am starting to put together my winter TBR and I'm very excited for that. Otherwise, while you're down there, give this video a thumbs up. If you liked it, feel free to subscribe. I post videos twice a week on Sundays and Wednesdays, but I may have the occasional bonus video going up and those are always surprises. So make sure you're subscribed and you hit the bell so that you are notified when those videos go up. Otherwise, I also have bookish social media linked down below. You can follow me there and get my reviews as I am reading books. But until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading.